What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of All the Mods Expert Mode. Oh, yeah, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I really like this wand that we made. The Staff of Traveling it allows us to get around so much faster at the cost of RF. We really should set up some kind of a wireless uh, charger thing for this. I know Ender.io has one of those. We just haven't gotten to that point yet, but that'd be really convenient for keeping our wand automatically charged. Thing is, the wireless charger, though, has like a limited range by default, so unless it's like bumped up pretty large, they have to put a bunch of them around. Anyway, uh, the staff of traveling really is very useful. Now, we were talking last episode about uh, upgrading our hammer. We did that and how it's going to make mining that much easier. You guys have pointed out in the comments, though, that there is another style of bag that we could be using from the Iron Backpacks mod. I didn't even realize this was in here. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that I was just searched for bag before, I think. And I saw that there were all of these, and that's where I stopped my search. But yeah, there is the uh, iron, I spell it right, iron backpack mod. Uh, these backpacks you can, you can make. They're not super expensive, and then you can upgrade them to the next tier, which just requires some iron and uh, another chest. Then you can upgrade them to the next tier after that. Gold and a chest, and then finally the diamond tier. So diamond, chest, yeah. So it's a little expensive for the diamond if you don't have a lot of them, but I think we're okay at this point. So uh, there's two different styles of backpacks. There's one with storage emphasis, and there's ones with upgrade emphasis. So if we look at the storage emphasis one, you can see that uh, it says upgrade points, zero of 12, and it's got three configurable upgrades and three additional upgrade points added. If we look at the upgrade emphasis one, we got 20, three, and seven. So it's a little bit more on all of those, I don't really know how big the bag is because I don't think I've ever used one of these before. At least not in recent memory. I maybe used it a long time ago. Anyway, it's got a bunch of different upgrades that we can add. Uh, it's got a damage bar upgrade, which would put like a uh, durability bar on there to see how full it is. We got, let's see, depth upgrade. So yeah, this is going to be kind of cool. So this is allows any nested backpacks that have full functionality, filter restock and compression upgrades. So what it sounds like to me is we can have one backpack uh, with like storage emphasis or something. We put the depth upgrade on there and then we could fill that full of other backpacks that have like compression upgrades on there. Uh, it could filter certain items and put it into itself and then compress them. There's a compression upgrade here. allows you to specify a set of items to be crafted in a three by three grid upon entering your backpack. I mean, there's a lot of really, really neat stuff here. So what this means is we could set up a bunch of backpacks, have them nested, and then as we are mining, it'll pick up cobblestone, compress it, and store it into another backpack. I think that's how that works. I'm kind of interested in checking this out a little bit, so let's go to make one of these bags together, and then I'll probably make a few of these off camera here and kind of see how we're doing. Uh, so we need to get ourselves a bunch of wood. Let's do that. I'm going to turn those into the vanilla chest. I don't know if it really matters or not, but we're going to do that. And there we go. There's eight vanilla chests. Okay, cool. So let's make the basic bag. And then we have the option, and I think this is where the path changes initially. So we can do the storage emphasis, or we can do uh, the upgrade emphasis. Now, I think this is where it does matter, because if we want to do a storage emphasis gold backpack, it looks like it has to have a storage emphasis iron backpack. So either we go all the way with storage, or we have to go all the way with the upgrade emphasis. I think we're going to do storage first just so we can get an idea of how much these bags hold. And then we'll look at what we need to do beyond that. So let's start with storage emphasis iron. Uh, there's no button here. So I guess we have to do this by hand. So it's chest plus bag. And then I guess iron ingots. Do we have, oh, you know what? <laughs> we still don't have our iron. I never finished that from last time. Uh, did I pour a block of iron? Oh boy. Uh, no. Okay, well, I need to get our iron melted down so we can make our iron ingots. Yeah, this is why we need to go mining. We're running out of stuff, guys. All right, let me go ahead and make the iron. I will bring us all the way up to the diamond tier. Storage emphasis, we'll check that out, and then we'll be right back. All right, guys, so I took some time here. I smelted down our iron, casted it out, made our upgrade for the backpack, uh, made some upgrades for them, and then made a second iron backpack. Yeah, so let's take a look at these real quick. So if we look at this iron backpack here, it is a nine by four, so 36 inventory. 
uh, bag, which is pretty good. I think that's exactly the same thing as this white bag tier three. It looks like it, right? Nine by four. So one thing I like about this, you'll notice there's no buttons on this tier three bag and there's buttons on this one. Yeah, that makes that so much better. That means we can sort our inventory in this particular bag, which we are unable to do in this one. There's no buttons. I can't middle click. Yeah, it just doesn't sort. Oops. Uh, so that makes this better. In fact, I think if we look at the recipe for this, this costs like diamonds. Well, I guess that's for the soul bound. It costs these upgrades in the white bag tier two and the upgrades cost all of this stuff. I think it's cheaper and this bag is just better, <laughs> uh, to get to this point. So it should have gone with this one first, but this one does have the soul bound thing that we could upgrade it to. Whereas this one, uh, it, there is an upgrade for it. And I figured eternity upgrade. Is that what it is? It allows you to keep the backpack when you die. The upgrade disappears after death though. You have to reapply if you want it again. So this one has soul bound for forever. And this one does not, you can play soul bound on it. Well, at least through the mods here, you can play soul bound on it. But yeah, if you die, you got to replace it. Anyway, uh, the diamond backpack, let's look at this one. Now this one has an 11 by seven inventory. So 77 slots of space that is so good so so good i like it so the way i want to have this set up we're gonna have a diamond backpack this is going to be our main one with the mining filter upgrade on it so it's going to automatically pick up any ores gems or dust and it has a basic filter for other items example cobble so we can set this thing up to take cobble in and all the different mining stuff right uh we're going to put a nesting upgrade so it allows us to place any backpack of a previous tier inside this backpack right so we can place the iron backpack in here and then we're going to have a depth upgrade so it says allows any nested backpack to have full functionality filter restocking compression upgrades only works on backpacks nested once no infinite nesting okay so that means that if we place this iron backpack in here it should be able to do all the things i want the iron backpack to do so the iron backpack i wanted to have a basic filter upgrade so we can just filter certain things that'll go into it and then a compression upgrade. We wanted to do a three by three on cobblestone and potentially a three by three on compressed cobblestone. Uh, yeah. So we can make all of our cobblestone collection, not really a problem anymore. We can also have it collect our dusts, right? We can have it collect the lapis and redstone and any other kind of dust that we get that we can do a three by three recipe on. Mm hmm. So I think that's going to be really good. So let's start putting these things together and see if this works. Cause I have not done this before. So there's a filter upgrade and I don't know if I have to set that now. Okay. So I can't right click. I can't shift right click. So if we apply this to the backpack, uh, and I go in here, I don't. Okay. If we shift right click on the backpack, now we go to this spot, basic filter upgrade. We can name it. It looks like, can we name it without, let me see. Shift right click. Oh yeah, we can name that without. Okay, so you get that by default. I guess that's just an information button here. All right, uh, so back to the iron one. Let's go ahead and do the compression upgrade. Do we get any other stuff here? Aha, uh -huh, compression upgrade. So I assume we have to put a piece of compressed cobblestone there for that to work. Yeah, maybe. So if I grab cobblestone, does that just pick it up into the bag? No, if I put it in there, it doesn't do anything. Maybe I have to specify cobblestone, not the compressed. I'm not really sure how this works. I'm figuring it out as we go here. So it didn't automatically put it in there. And if I put the cobblestone in, it doesn't appear to do anything. So I'm not sure how that works. I'm going to have to figure that out. Uh, do I have to put in some kind of a filter? Hmm. Compression upgrade. Yeah, I'm not sure how that's going to work. Hmm, okay. Well, I'll figure that out later. Anyway. Uh, so now that we got the iron backpack set up, we want to get the diamond backpack with the mining upgrade. So that should automatically pull the cobblestone in. Uh, we want the nesting upgrade. So we can put the iron backpack in there and then we want the depth upgrade. So the iron backpack will still do stuff. So maybe we can get it to work like this. <laughs> I want to see if this will pick up our cobblestone or not. Uh, all right, so we'll put the iron backpack in the diamond one. Let's shift right click on this. So we got a mining filter upgrade. So if we tell it to accept cobblestone, what happens? Okay, I don't have the 55. It is here, so that works. Now, as far as it getting into this bag, I'm not really sure how that's gonna, how you do that. Okay, I'm gonna have to play around with this for just a little bit. 
and see if I can get that figured out. It seems like I'm overlooking something very simple. Maybe this one needs the mining upgrade too, so it'll pull in the stuff. Hmm. Anyway, let me figure it out, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so after playing around with this for a little while, it seems like it works just fine. So the way it works now, uh, I had a filter here and a mining filter to pick up cobblestone, which was saying, hey, if we get cobblestone, put it into the diamond backpack. That's not really what we want. So the way that we have the iron backpack set up is we have a basic filter for cobblestone and a compression upgrade for cobblestone. So if you nest this bag in here, it's like this diamond bag has another filter that you just can't see for picking up cobblestone, right? So that's where the confusion was. Yeah, as soon as I removed the cobblestone from here, and I said there's no filter, and the iron bag has that, we're picking it up just fine. So let me throw all this cobblestone on the ground, and then I'll pick it up. You see, none of it's in my inventory. None of it's in the diamond chest, but if we take out this backpack, yeah, there it is, compressed cobblestone blocks. So the other thing I have not tried thus far is if we put compressed cobblestone in here, uh, will that compress it even further? I assume it would, but I haven't tried it yet. So if I drop this on the ground, okay, so I might have to put a filter here, drop it on the ground, try that. There it is. So now we got compressed and double compressed. So that's really awesome. Let me go and grab some more of these. Let's throw those on the ground and we'll pick it back up. Yeah, check it out. Compress and double compress. Now we could go even further and make it triple compressed, I suppose. If we want to go really crazy with the storage for the cobblestone, I think we kind of do, to be honest, because that's one of those things I never really want to mess with uh, when we are doing stuff. Now, yeah, I think we have to have the filters here. I, I think... I want to mess around with this a little bit more because I'm not sure how all this works, if we need those filters or not. I know we need the filter to pick up cobblestone, but once it's already in the bag, I don't know if we need filters beyond that. So let's try another bit here. Drop those on the ground. There's nothing in the iron backpack. Now, if we pick those all up, okay, so we don't need the other filter. So we get the triple, compress the double, and the cobblestone. Interesting. So we can keep adding the compression upgrades here, and I'll keep... Uh, yeah, compressing it further and further so we could put a triple and then we should be able to get quadruple, quadruple compressed cobblestone in the bag. That's awesome. I like this. That is going to be super, super convenient for going in the mines and collecting cobblestone. I really like that. So the other things that we're going to want to do, um, yeah, the other things we're going to want to do is put redstone on there. So we make redstone blocks. We're going to want lapis on there. So we make lapis blocks. And if we find anything else that we might want, yeah, we're definitely going to have to figure that out. I think we have to put those in there like this. But these other ones that compress itself even further, we don't. I think that's how that works. Okay, so let's try the redstone. Let's try, oh, I guess uh, appetite maybe. I guess it's not really important. We're not going to be getting a lot of that right now. And the redstone, let's just make sure all of this works. Let's nest it as well. Make sure it all works in there. Uh, no, I wanted to cue those on the ground. Okay, so those are not getting picked up into our backpack here, but it is being picked up into this backpack. So why did it not get picked up into the iron one? That has me curious. The iron one has a basic filter for lapis and for redstone and cobblestone. So why did it not go in there? I don't know. We drop these on the ground. That might still go into the uh, diamond backpack because it has the mining upgrade. Yeah, it looks like it does. So that might be the reason because the mining upgrade puts it right into here. We might have to have another compression upgrade for our diamond backpack. And then I'll just compress the blocks in here. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and do that. The compression upgrade isn't super expensive. Crafting tables, upgrade, bone block piston, and white. So it's not so bad. Let me go ahead and do that and then we will continue on. All right, guys, so here we are in the deep dark. I thought I'd give our bag uh, a little test and see how everything's working. And my goodness, guys, this is probably the best upgrade we've done for collecting resources. So our diamond backpack here has all of these different ores in it. Uh, our redstone and our lapis are automatically being compressed. We get, we are getting emeralds here, by the way. 
Uh, over in this general area, it says Swampland. Somewhere around here, it says that we are in a Extreme Hills biome. Maybe it's a little bit over this way. I don't know. But yeah, we were getting some emeralds from an Extreme Hills biome here, which is pretty awesome. Um, another thing that I noticed, though, this hammer that we upgraded from last time is now a stone iron copper hammer. Uh, we repair it with the stone sharpening kit, but when we repair it with one, look at that durability we get back. It's not very much. We have to repair it like six times or something in order to fully repair this thing. <laughs> so we go through these stone sharpening kits pretty quickly. Uh, but yeah, this is really good. So the only other thing that this backpack is not doing is not collecting basalt or the hardened stone. Basalt, we could probably delete hardened stone. We'll probably want to keep for uh, some of the environmental tech. No, I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, what are those things called? Let's look. Solar. This is from, yeah, environmental tech, this mod. Uh, so you can use the hardened stone for some of the base upgrades for these things. So we'll probably want to keep that, but I don't think basalt really has much use. But anyway, uh, so if we're sitting here and just <laughs> breaking through all of these, uh, yeah, through all the stone here and collecting all these resources, we're just collecting XP, we're collecting all this stuff, and it is all being filed away. And I can just keep going and going and going. This makes things so much better, guys. My goodness. Yeah, look at this. Nothing in my inventory. <laughs> Except for those things. All the ores are here, and then I haven't even looked at the diamond backpack yet. Yeah, so check it out. We got triple compressed cobblestone just from mining. That is really neat. I like it a lot. So yeah, that's definitely a huge, huge step up as far as automations go for collecting these things. Uh, I am going back every now and then and placing torches just so we are not spawning monsters down here. We are in the deep dark, so monsters that do spawn here have more damage, more health, all those kinds of things. So in a normal branch mine, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. And this one's kind of a big deal. If you get a big pack of, I don't know, like those crazy Dr. Orange guys or whatever yeah you could be in for a little bit of a problem so i definitely want to keep things lit up while we're here also uh the deep dark does cause you damage i think we talked about that last time so if you're in a spot when there's too low of a light level you'll start taking like a suffocation kind of a damage yeah and you want to make sure you're just all lit up here so you're not spawning monsters so you aren't taking that kind of damage Anyway, I'm going to continue uh, doing a little bit of resource collecting here. We've been running a little on iron. Definitely need that. And then everything else that we're getting here is just all good stuff. So anyway, let me continue doing that, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. So I've been doing a fair bit of mining here. In fact, I made another level. Yeah, before we were down here on Y10, right? Yep, down here. Now we're up on the next level. Can we go up this? Will it allow me to do that? <laughs> Yeah, I guess it will. Now we're on uh, Y25. Now, the reason why I want to do Y25, well, it's actually, if we hit F3 and we look at this block right here, it says we're looking at Y26, 27, and 25, right? So it says Y25, but that's at our feet level, apparently. Anyway, uh, I wanted to get some magnetite ore. This is from the rock hounding. This is how we get three iron when we macerate it right so it says in the overworld it spawns at these different levels here mm-hmm but apparently it only spawns in the overworld as far as i can tell the highest percent chance is 1.05 and i think that is at y26 maybe maybe that's not i'm not sure zero to 1.05 i guess the highest percent chance is at y26 at one percent anyway I've dug through all of this stuff and I haven't gotten a single one of those ores. I was kind of looking in here to see if I missed it or anything. But yeah, nothing uh, of that sort we've gotten. We haven't gotten any of the uninspected ores. We haven't gotten any of that stuff. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, it looks like we have to mine in the overworld for our iron, at least at this point in time. So yeah, we got one quadruple compressed cobblestone, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm really liking this setup. This is really awesome. Don't have to worry about any of this stuff. Now, I know there's void upgrades, so we can get void upgrade and then put, like, basalt in there, and then, like, all of this stuff that we're collecting right now will just go away. That might be something that we end up doing, I think. I guess we'll just have to figure it out as we go. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to press shift and right-click on this thing so it actually works. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get back to the overworld. Uh, I've ran out of our, up or our, um, our repair kits. Yeah, so we have no way to repair our hammer anymore, so we're pretty much done here. We collected a lot of resources. 
Uh, over a stack and a half of gold ore, all of these blocks of redstone, so much nickel, a little bit of silver, a whole lot of tin, and some osmium. Lots of good stuff. Eight blocks of diamond, plus an additional one. One full block of emerald. Yeah, we got some good stuff here. Anyway, we need to go back to the overworld so we can get the iron that we need. So that is our next job. All right, guys. So now that we have all of that stuff taken care of, all the mining, I've started to set up some kind of basic automations for our ores. So yeah, I have a chest over here with just our regular ores in it that I have uh, with a conduit or with an item conduit, push pull on both sides, always active on the extract. So we're always extracting from the chest, putting it to the macerator. We're currently doing magnetite ore. As this gets macerated, it makes a dust and those get extracted automatically out of the macerator and back into the chest. Now to make that even better, we could set up some kind of a smelting operation right here to take these dust and smelt it automatically. But for right now, this works for me. I just dump it in here, and then whenever we need stuff, it's just ready to go. I don't have to wait on the macerator. We did run out of lava, finally. I had to go down into our branch mine and fill this back up. I got about 90 buckets of it. A lot of that filtered back into our fluid tank, which is about half empty, half full. Yeah, so we got 87, or I'm sorry, 81.7 buckets of lava remaining. So we can run this operation for a while. We're going to have to start looking at getting better EU power. I would like to get upgrades in this. This is going to require a lot more power when we put the overclockers in here, which means we're going to need a better power source than just the one geothermal. So we'll probably look at doing some kind of solar panels pretty soon, I think. Uh, but yeah, for right now, this is working pretty good. So I'm taking the iron dust and bringing it over to... Whoop, <laughs> bringing our iron dust over to our alloy smelter over here, which I have set up in kind of a automated way. So we have it set to a push pull to this chest. So yeah, it pulls in anything that I can smelt, smelt it, and then it ejects it directly back into the chest once again. So yeah, that's kind of a nicer way of doing it. I can just sit there, AFK, let all the, the dust form come back over here and put them over here and just AFK and let them all get smelted. So for right now, it's good. It's not the best setup, but you know, it's going to get us by. So another thing I've been looking at, what I wanted to do is we set up our hammer with the iron. So it's got a little bit of magnetic, magnetic properties. When we mine stuff, uh, items get attracted to us. But that's only if it's in like that three by three area. So like if I'm in my mine and I place a torch like this and I'm mining this, I'll break all these. Most of those will get drawn to me, but this torch normally will pop off over here and I won't be able to collect it. Anyway, things like that are things that I want to solve. So, uh, there's another magnet from the reliquary mod. We've looked at this one before the coin of suck, the coin of fortune. And it looks like you can use it as an amulet. I don't know if there's a way to turn it on and off with a hotkey. But anyway, uh, we have a coin of fortune here. So that requires a nebulous heart. That is an enderman item, gold nugget, slime pearl, which is from slimes. And finally a bat wing, which is from of course bats. So there's a coin of fortune. So that's pretty awesome. So the coin of fortune, I don't remember how big the range is, but yeah, if you turn it on, it's a really good magnet. As soon as you throw an item, it gets sucked right back into you. So there's no waiting around or anything. It's just there. Uh, so it looks like we can wear this as an amulet. Let's check that out. So, oh yeah, it goes right there on our head slot, or I guess we could put it in our offhand if we wanted to. So I don't know if there is a way to turn that off. Let's go into the controls real quick and look under reliquary. Um, no, it doesn't look like there's a reliquary section. So I don't know if there is a way to remotely turn that on and off. Shift right click to activate, hold right click to super vacuum. Oh, okay. So let's check this out. Hold on a second. Super vacuum. I'll put some, whoop. I'll put some uh, toast on the ground right like this. Let's see how far away we suck it up from here. Okay, so that is like one, two, three, four, five blocks. Now, if I hold right click, that's pretty awesome. I wonder how far away that works. Oh, we got to turn the magnet off. Let me place one right here. I guess we'll come over here, hold right click, and take a look at it. Holding right click, moving forward. Uh, that's pretty far. Okay. So we're right here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15 blocks away. Maybe, maybe 16. I don't know. I guess it just depends on where we are in this block. So like 15 blocks away. That's pretty awesome. I like this magnet a lot. Uh, so that's going to be very useful for just our day-to-day -day things around here. Uh, I would put it on my amulet slot to save a spot in my inventory, but without some kind of a hot key to turn it on and off. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do that. I know there is the electromagnet. Uh, from Ender IO, this thing right here, this also can be used as an amulet and you can set up a hotkey to enable and disable that. I'm pretty sure, uh, but it does require RF and this guy does not, doesn't require any, uh, oh, it draws in XP as well. So that'd be really useful. Okay. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. So I'll probably just be using this anyway, even though it does take up another slot in our inventory. It's so much better. All right, guys. Well, I tell you what, I think we're going to wrap it up for today. We got, you know, a lot of stuff done. These new bags, not that one. Uh, I put it inside this bag, actually. Uh, these bags are so very good. I like them a lot. Uh, the other thing I guess I wanted to see on them before we go, can we do soul bound? Is that a thing? Yeah, soul bound is an ender crystal. So that's a vibrant crystal, one of these things. Okay, so I wanted to make a Soulbound book and put it on there. I guess I'll end up doing that off camera, or maybe we'll check that out next time. But yeah, I wanted to have Soulbound on this thing just in case <laughs> we die. Yeah, I don't want to lose this. And then like all the other bags that we might put in there, because that would be really unfortunate if we lost all that stuff. But anyway, guys, we're going to wrap it up for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.